Hello everyone, welcome to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Banto. So, we have gotten a new patch for the game that adds so many nice new things. We got some aqueduct, we got roads we can upgrade so they can move faster, and also changes to the, so the different seas and the years are pretty much longer than before. And this is gonna be a pretty good thing, I think. There are many, many, many more things, and everything is like related to the infrastructure of your town. So for that reason and some other reasons such as my town was bugging out and had a dragon attack that never stopped and I got a viking invasion and uh, it just bugged out. So we're going from the beginning. We're making a new town. We're gonna go for a different map though. We have barely any fertile ground here. So that was maybe pretty good. This one looks pretty nice. A lot of fertile ground here. I think this could be pretty good. Got some stone, some iron, a lot of wood. So maybe we can build a town like down here. And then we can have uh, a lot of houses like around this water. I guess that makes them happy to live next to the water. So I'm gonna go for this one. Name your kingdom. So we're gonna return to Bantonia. That's gonna be our new foreign Bantonia kingdom again. Let's go for an uh, yellow one with the sword because it looks pretty cool. Okay, so we are here. So we're starting a new town here, and we want to build mostly on this uh, yellow ground, because yellow ground you can't really grow so much. This is also a pretty good spot. So maybe we can put down, I think maybe our castle perhaps here. Maybe, okay, let's see, let's put it there. I don't think we can move it later, so let's drop it here, should be good. Then we're gonna get the beautiful people to build our awesome little castle. It's not gonna be very big in the beginning, but at least it's some kind of a castle. Manor, beds for 25 five peasants, demand charcoal. Uh, I'm not sure why it said that. But there's a lot of different things. I guess maybe you can see more things for the buildings. So we want to start with uh, making some roads again. So I'm gonna go for this side since we can't really grow too much here. Like that. And another thing that's new for the game, by the way. I talked about it in a previous episode, is that we actually are having the wooden walls now, so I think we see them if we go to this one. And we have this one, wooden castle block, it builds and stack to form a walls of tower. Tower walls are harder for the enemy to destroy. And you can only stack these to, I think it was 3 or 4 in height, so that's like a little bit of a limitation. But at least you don't need to gather as much stone and maybe it's an Thing you do before you move on to something else. And then we do have the stone road I talked about. So this one allows peasants to travel much faster, which is 50% faster. That's a lot of speed. So that's what we're gonna do later, but we need stone and we need gold for that. So that's something for a later time. So I'm gonna start with uh, putting down some basic small houses. I think that should be pretty good. Gotta get them in their own little homes. You don't have to live outside. Okay, so that's pretty good. We also got this new uh, statue here, the Queen Barbara. So this is supposed to make the people feel happier and inspire them, and maybe we'll build it later on. So and maybe this also, also this should also have something to do with that. I'm not really sure what Lord Levi is doing. I guess they're kind of the same thing, but not entirely sure. So that will house 15 people when we have three of these houses. Probably need to chop down a few more trees. And we could, uh, let's go and um, build a road, just yeah, so we can go closer to the woods. Then we're gonna have, maybe at the last one here, we can do a forester. We can start to collect some wood. I guess we maybe need to, we do need to do a quarry first though. So it should be, I think this one, stone available to quarry, okay. Okay, now we should have enough to make uh, their first quarry. I guess we need to build a road first. So maybe even before we head there, why don't we go ahead and put some food? I know the last time I was doing this, I kind of forgot to do the farms. Soil here, oh yeah, we can't grow here, yeah. So let's put one here. See, it's a little bit darker, means it's uh, it's better to grow there. It grows faster and gives more. That should be good. I'm gonna cover here. So that will be five farms, which means we probably need a few more houses. So maybe wait a little bit with core. I don't want to wait too far, but... Um, I guess food and some housing should be a little bit higher in priority than actually getting a quarry, I think so at least. Okay, so let's go and chop more wood. What we might have to do is to perhaps disable a few of these farms, and the reason we do that is because we want them to chop trees, and this is also a new thing, you see the fire risk. 
So if you have like wells close to them, it should lower down and should be a lot safer. But it's pretty nice so you can see the risk of them. That's pretty cool. I should down a few more. And in here we can also see a few of the new things. So we have a reservoir, stores water and provides uh, irrigation, must be connected to aqueducts for Noria to work. So do we, then we do have the aqueduct, transports water from Norias to reservoirs, and then we do have a Noria, provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. So I guess we want to lead that around the town to get water to places. Probably something that's going to be kind of, kind of far into the game. We need gold, we need a lot of stone. And this is just one aqueduct for 40 stone and 15 gold. That's gonna cost a lot to do them. So I probably guess we would like to perhaps store one of these reservoirs later. Like close to a farm and then lead water from the Noria through the aqueduct to it. So that should be pretty interesting once we can reach that point of the game. Okay, let's chop down a few more trees. Before we go too far. Hey, I can have another core later on. Looks like we have enough wood. We need to make a road to build a quarry over here. So we have to go and do the road. We need to get a quarry before we can actually get a forester. In many games you get a forester before, but in this game it seems like you get the quarry first. Okay, there we go. Did the road up there and then we do, I think, another quarry here. We Let's do it at the other side. Yes, we can... Kind of go, go around here. I think that should be good. And we do it here. That should be nice. I think we can put one there at least. Should be possible. Chop down a few more trees. Should be good. Chop my little trees, my people. So even though these are pretty cheap, they only use wood. I'm probably gonna wait a while with them. We could maybe do, you know, have them as some place to shoot from from the beginning. But just to get that. The Archer Tower, we need 20 gold also, so we still need a treasure room to get the, the basic shooting. And these should be super, super weak against the Ogres. So my guess is that an Ogre, if this is the maximum built-in height, and they're gonna do one or two hits and it's gonna be gone. These one are one hit per stone height that you do, so the more you stack them, the more you have to hit them. Okay, let's see here, the food is not so good, we have 15 people. And we have a few of them idle. We should do more beds so we can get more people to come and join. Um, this is so good place for grown stuff. The seed is a dark green color. That means it's super fertile. Maybe we have to do farms. I wanted to do houses there, but maybe we actually should do farm because it's super good. I'm guessing it could be because it's around water, but then this should also be good. And it that one isn't really good. So let's keep doing some houses here then. Can I make sure they at least have a neighbor? I think neighbor will make them a little happier, so hopefully my little people are not gonna run away from my town and stay here and be happy together. So farms here, I guess we could put to build them, but let's wait a bit with it. And let's get some forest to go in first so we can start doing some real work with the gathering wood. And let's see, maybe put it... I don't want to put it there because it's super fertile ground again. It looks like the forest very often have very, very fertile ground. So we can go with another road here. We can have a little bit of quicker access. Let's check the advisors. They don't have so much good things to say, mostly. Hmm. Sire, our peasants worry about food for the winter. We must do something about the food supply. Good day, Sire. Let's begin growing our kingdom with some roads and houses. Good day, Sire. That's what she always say. The military advisor. That's, just, that's the only thing she ever said to me. Okay, we need more wood. Let's go shop some. We don't have any available workers. I'm just gonna maybe... Let's cancel this one for now. It's pretty cool that you saw these like little pink things showing how many people are working in, in. It's the people that are working here. So I'm guessing maybe when they're not busy, maybe they go around in the town. I'm not sure if they actually do that, but I think we will see them then. It's really good growing ground here. Really good. And this should be pretty good for building the town. Want to build it as much as possible on this barren ground. Okay, so now we got the forest. That's awesome. We can have um, a bunch more people. We have 30 beds, so let's go and maybe open these. Then we can do... We should do an town square. 
That would be 20 wood and 10 stones, and that should be pretty good to get. But maybe we want to get a f another forest. I kind of like to have one more than one forest pretty early on. Because we can gather things quick, and we can have it already here, it seems. Okay, let's put it there, that should be good. So I'm gonna cover some of these dark green things, because we have so much here. So much green to grow stuff. But I'm saying that now, maybe later on we'll come back and buy this, so we don't have enough place to farm. So we'll see what happens then, but I think this ground should be really, really good. And maybe we could put like a windmill here and grow, I don't know. What we could do first would be to do an orchard of 15 wood, put it down here. And that should yield some good amount of food. This one is currently giving... 6 per year, I think, yeah. High soil fertility plus 2. So this would give even more. Medium soil, okay, so 2 is the a dark greenish one. I want to do an orchard here, I think that would be good. And the ox they also survive like heavy rain, so that's pretty good. A little bit more secure that we will be getting the wood, uh, the food. Let's open a core again. Okay, so town square maybe should be next then. With 10 stones. 20 woods, so that's not too far away. I think we should be pretty fine with the food for now. Okay, now we can do a town square, and we should try to fit this, like, at the very best spot for town. We don't have such good place for the moment. Congratulations, Bantoni is now a small village. Awesome. This does cover quite a big amount of ground. Now in the beginning though, I don't know where I want to put it in the beginning. Because uh, like I said, we're probably going to do more the town here. Because we don't want to cover too much of this with um, normal buildings, we want to grow things there. But I guess we just have to, for the moment, maybe put it here. We can also move it later on. And also made for the game also, so that uh, if you have a ton of town squares and you have throw festivals at all of them at the same time, it's not as OP as it used to be, so the more you have, the more festivals you run at the same time. And it's gonna like uh, get to a point where you don't really get more of it. Because it was very very OP before. I wonder how far away we are from getting a treasure room. Wow, 50 stone. Okay, so then we need, we need more houses, I see that already. More houses, and then we need to... Get some more from the quarry, okay, so let's do maybe a few more of these houses. So we can maybe do a cottage. Yeah, let's do a cottage, our very first one. So I'm gonna put a cottage, let's see, over here should be good. And they still have neighbors, and we also should um, consider making some wells. It kinda cost in the beginning though, to go for 10 stone, and 10 stone's quite a lot in the beginning of the game. But this town square should hopefully, hopefully make a few more people come join us. Recent food shortage, okay, so we have to maybe improve the food a little bit more. Gonna do some farms here. That should be good. We're gonna wait with the windmills. I don't feel like we are we're ready to windmills yet. But like that. Can do one more here. Just to make it look a little bit better there. A small granary maybe should try to do soon also. But let's do another quarry. Once I get enough wood, it should be very soon. There we go. So two quarries. Beds for 42 people. Can't throw any festivals yet. And uh, I think we actually should... Let's go and uh, make at least one well. Hopefully that will lower the fire risk. Additional wells are strongly recommended. Okay. But that's really good. I, I like that this game is getting more and more updated. It's just making it better and better. It was kind of um, limited in the past, the game. It was a very interesting game, but it was limited. And I know they also talked about adding so we should have uh, some trading in the future through the sea, so you can get like trading ships and stuff coming in. So that is something I'm really, really looking forward to see. Should be really awesome. Okay, let's see what's happening here now then. So you see the fire risk is low now, nice. So as you see, the further away you get from the well, the higher the risk gets. That's really good, I'm not sure if you can actually... Would be nice if you can select a thing here, just like this thing, for the happiness. So you can see the fire risk, that would be awesome. Okay, let's do... Let's do another cottage, because I know we're gonna need more people soon. 
This one, however, where should this one be sitting? Uh, let's do it. Let's do it here, and then we can have another house here later. And then we have a road next to this. Like that. Then we get some neighbors, eventually. Okay, let's see how far are we from getting a treasure room. Wow. 50 stones, that's a lot in the beginning of the game. So many seagulls, is that some dragon on the way? Is that an indication of dragons? I hope not, because I'm not ready for them. But I really like this thing about uh, the change that the years are longer, because the years, it, they felt way too quick before. So they should be 50% longer or something like that. That's really, really good thing. A good, nice change. And let's see how can we can maybe build like a tavern. Very soon we can do one. That should increase the happiness a little bit. And it uh, doesn't reach so far. We can maybe put it here. I was thinking of having a road here, but maybe we can have the tavern there. Then we can put perhaps a well between the houses. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out. I've never done it in that way. Then maybe, uh, yeah, mason. We need a mason. The mason go around the town and pretty much repair your buildings, and it's quite important. Quite important. So I'm gonna throw it down here, very far away from everything, but I think it's gonna be better than nothing. Could throw a stockpile somewhere. Maybe here. It's pretty weird. The space since we don't have roads to it. I was thinking that maybe it's a good place to have something drop off somewhere else also. Let's put it here for now. And probably need to do a well somewhere down here. Put a house there and then we do... Let's do a well over here, that should be good. So I'm gonna do more normal houses around here. As you can see we get this thing. Plus 8 for happiness. Near body of water. That's really awesome. They don't have neighbors, so that's something they really strongly want. So we're gonna give them some, of course. Here we go, some neighbors, my lovely Bantonian people. And I'm changing some things with the fire as well, so we will see how much uh, Bantonia is gonna be burning. <laughs> you know, when I made it first time, I had so many problems. So guys, I've watched that before, you probably remember the Bantonia fires burning all the time. So I wanna go around town and... Uh, Maybe add in some more roads. I kind of want to go and connect these, like that. And let's see how expensive was these ones. Okay, so stone and the gold. And the cool thing is that when you build this later on, you can put an upgrade once you have. So you don't have to go destroy and build it new. We still need to build it, but you can replace them, which I think is really, really good. Okay, so treasure room. I think treasure room should be the next thing we do. Maybe we want to go and add a quarry here. They're shopping this one down, so maybe we take the opportunity now and put a quarry when we're done with that. Here we go. Probably want another forest as soon. Maybe put it out here should be good. And uh, let's see, there should be good. Okay, so we have done three forests that we have, three quarries. That should do good. We might need another forester. I like to like progress really fast, so I like to have many foresters and many quarries. You can really expand really fast in this game if you know exactly what you're doing. And put everything to the perfect way, which I will hopefully learn as I go. But I definitely don't have the skills for that so far. Okay, so let's go for the castle. We're gonna get a treasure room, and I think we want to put it um, pretty much next to our keep for now. If you saw my previous episode, I made like a wall around it to protect it more. We might be doing that later on. Right now we can't really do it, so I'm gonna put it here. Then maybe we'll do some extra walls around the keep for the center. Or we will simply like go and move the, win uh, the treasure room later on. That should be really, really good to get. Now they have neighbors, that's good. Too far away, okay. So we should uh, make sure we're getting some charcoal. They want that so they don't freeze on winters. So I'm gonna put charcoal maker in the middle of the wood. Burn up all the wood, Banto. Starting fires everywhere. I'm gonna go for like two. Okay, I wanted to do two of them. And put them out here. Okay, there we go. So I think that will... It should be enough for two for what we got. Okay. Um, maybe when I do a small granary. Let's do a small granary. 
And I think this one we will replace and then do an, um, a little windmill on it. It's gonna cost a bit though, so we have to wait a tiny bit with it. And let's go and uh, start collecting some taxes. So what I'm gonna go for is, I think we're gonna go for two. I kinda like that. You get a lot of gold, but you're still not uh, pissing every, everyone off for taking all their gold. We're using for the good things, so they should be happy. We're making new farms and upgrading roads and making the town overall better. So I wanna try an stone road. I know it's kinda wasty as the one. I still want to do a road part. I can do two of them just so we can see them a bit better. And you can see already like before we built it, look how much faster they run when they come over it. So imagine that through the entire town, it's gonna help a lot. I would love if they could have like pack mules and maybe horses and carts and stuff would be really awesome so they can carry more stuff. It looks cool and it would be very very useful. So I think this update is so exciting. It's gonna be just gonna be getting better and better. Manor, did it used to cost 25 gold? I think they only costed wood and the stone before. Oh, fire! My shock oil is burning, no! I said that this was gonna burn and Banto jinxed it. Damn you Banto, what are you doing? I guess we have to put a well out there. Maybe it's not a very bad idea to have it here. Could have been the lighting also. But like I said, I want to have a well there and... Um, that's kind of close. I'm gonna put one more well here. Just kind of want to have to spread around. We'll try to cover the entire town with the wells. If we select one, we can actually see kind of how much we cover for the moment. Wow, this one burned down. That's not good. New homes to Bantus people. Okay, let's get a new. Let's get a manor. Let's get a manor just to make them happier. They had a had a cottage, but now they're getting a manor. So that should make them feel good. Hopefully. Okay, the food, we maybe want to increase the food output soon. Do maybe a few more farms before we do windmills. So here, and then later on we remove that one, put a windmill and put another farm here, should be good. That should be, I think that should be good enough for the, for the farming side. I'm gonna do another house later on here, I think we do a manor there. But yeah guys, this will be it for today. I hope you guys are looking forward to see more with this new the aqueducts and everything. We're gonna do that later on. So this infrastructure update for Kingdoms of Castle, I think it has been really good and awesome so far. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode with Kingdom of Castle. I hope you guys are looking forward to more with Kingdoms of Castles, Stone Hearth, and soon I'm gonna do some craft world again. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good time, and hit like on the video and subscribe for more from me, Banto. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and take care.